Americans are successful in their example of being able to provide as a poor country the best medical care in the third world to the whole population because it's an inclusionary, inclusionary system. It's not like we have here where you have this huge bulk of the population, you know, marginalized. Um, but there, if everybody can have adequate medical care, if the schooling is adequate for all, and remember Cuba has more doctors and more teachers per capita than any country in the world, and they have succeeded in these areas, and it's all state um, supported, which means people don't have to put money out for, for the medical care or for um, it's in, they, they, of course, pay the cost indirectly as a whole society, but they don't have to pay the bill in the mm -hmm. hospital and so forth. And so that cannot be allowed to stand. It's a very bad example for the United States. So there is a, a very large mass of people out there who can look at Cuba and say, well, if they can do it, uh, and on a per capita income of $2,000, $2,500 a year, where ours is $22,500 a year, what's wrong with What's wrong with our system? I mean, maybe we ought to consider an alternative. That's why Nicaragua, Sandinista in Nicaragua, had to be destroyed. Exactly. They were a bad example, and that's why Grenada had to be destroyed, because mm -hmm. any um, movement that comes to power with the idea of providing for all the people and of escaping the control of the United States and its uh, economy, let's say the corporations and so forth, then that is bad news here in the United States in the upper uh, circles of power. So there you go. It really is that simple. 